I noticed something fishy going on with DoorDash. So I check my ratings almost every day before dashing. I had a good two days of dashing for once this week. Before that, I was having to unassign a lot of orders for restaurant issues or getting better offers in my on my other apps. But having a good two days of deliveries on DoorDash on DoorTrash, I noticed my completion rate has not moved. Only unassigned one delivery in a few days and taken a bunch of deliveries, but my completion rate hasn't moved. Just wanted to know if any other dashers are having this happen to them. I think it's another way to get rid of us. Thanks, Pete, for all you do for us. No problem. And a shameless plug, if you want to mention the Loco app, it's getting busier and we're stealing a bunch of restaurants from the top three delivery apps. We're soon to be expanding it to more areas. Hemp, hemp, hooray, out. And that was Loco Tampa Bay. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, LocoTampaBay.com, if you want to check that out. L-O-C-O, TampaBay.com. So what do we think here? As far as these, you know, completion rates not moving or whatever, um, it seems like it's got to be some sort of a glitch, okay? Because let's face it, DoorDash out of the big three is always the one that seems to be having the issues with glitches, okay? We've been seeing this crap going on with the high mileage thing where it's like, hey, for $14, do you want to drive 773 miles? No, but it's actually 7 miles and 73, or it's actually 7.73 miles or something like that, you know? Um, so I think it's very possible it could be a glitch, you know? And again, as far as what he's saying about, is this, is this another way to get rid of dashers? I would hope not, but like I've said in the past, I, I'm pretty sure the way DoorDash does things is they do not want veteran drivers to stay on their platform because the veteran drivers are well aware of cherry picking. They're well aware of multi-apping, just like M. Pampere was saying here. Uh, and they're, they, they, they know that drivers are going to take advantage of that to, you know, to their own advantage. Um, where it puts DoorDash at a disadvantage, you know what I mean? So I almost feel like any excuse that they potentially could have to get a Dasher deactivated or force them off the platform, I feel like they're going to take it because they want those brand new fresh drivers that don't know that they can reject those 2 and $3 orders, you know? So again, that's just my two cents on the thing. I'm sure some people are going to be like, Pete, DoorDash would never do that. And it's just like, ah, I don't know, man. They've been through some real screwy Louie tactics over the past four years, five years at this point. So I don't put anything past them at this point, you know, is really what it is. Um, you know, we, we should know at this point that they do not have the Dasher's best interest in mind because they're a gigantic company. And at the end of the day, their bottom line is what's most important. And that's like that with any business. You can't fully, you know, blame them for thinking that way, even if it, even if it doesn't make it right, you know. So with that being said, do you guys think that this completion rate thing is a glitch or do you think it's not? This video has been brought to you by the Paid to Drive membership program. Get started today by clicking the join button now.